Alright, welcome back everyone to another episode of the $5 Game Box. The continuing quest to build a great collection of video games that started with just one $5 bill. Well, that's a Swordmaster. You know it is. That's uh, the proceeds so far of Season 3 of the Game Box. We are doing really good. There's our big board still sitting at zero, but we're waiting on one. That should be coming later this episode. All right, and there's a $5 bill. That's what we started with, folks. All of this. One $5 bill. Anyway, technically I start this episode with 82 but now it's down to $62.50. Because as I told you at the end of last episode... I had a pickup waiting. I just picked it up after work just 10 minutes ago in this quality garment care bag. $20 for everything in this bag. And, uh, yeah. So here we go. We got a little uh, PS2 Slim, a couple memory cards. Is one of these a PS1? No, it's a PS2. And this is a PS2, right? Yep. So a couple PS2 memory cards. Uh, Battlefront 2 in there. Let's set that aside. Not bad. Clean. Pretty damn clean. So that should be a nice little flip. Dynasty Warriors 5. I think I need this. Good shape. Um, we'll go over that in a second. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. It'd be nice to put with this when we flip the system. Looks like he wrote down some cheat codes, but the map, it looks like it's there. Final Fantasy XII. This doesn't feel complete. Yeah, disc only. Oh, there's a case for Battlefront 2. All right, how's that disc? Not bad. All right. Uh, let's see, one controller. Looks like we got the plug-in and the AV. All right, in here, I wish it was full, but it's not. But uh, let's see, I'm going to have to go through it. God, we're... I just felt one. Uh, Corvette. Random GameCube game. Day of Reckoning. Should have asked if he had any more GameCube games. Um, can't turn it. What the hell? There we go. Metal Gear Solid 2. Alright. Don't have this game. Scooby Doo and the Cyber Chase. Alright. PS1 game. Here's one. Nice. Harvest Moon Save the Homeland. Eh. Not bad. SmackDown vs. Raw. Rampage World Tour. And this one is the reason I couldn't wait to jump on that lot. Warcraft Dark Saga 2. Ooh, boy. I'll see about getting that resurfaced. Wow. This game alone, about $35 to $40 loose disc. Maybe not in that condition, though. Holy jeez. Wow. I don't know. I've seen worse. Anyway, $20 for all that. Not bad. Definitely going to flip it for at least a double. Maybe even 50 depending. Because i got a lot of PS2 games I need to get rid of. That are duplicates. That won't sell individually, but will look good in a lot. Like Reservoir Dogs. Like uh, that 50 Cent game. Alright, that's our opening pickup. This episode of $5 Game Box.
It's supposed to be a garage sale Saturday in two days. It is, as of the moment I'm recording this, Thursday, June 20th, about a quarter to 6 p.m. Tonight's the night I usually peruse Craigslist and Facebook for garage sale ads. It's late June. Look at the GameCube. Look at it. Look at that car. Look at my arm. Huh. Think there's going to be good garage sales in two days? If anything, we'll have game hunting to ourselves if there are some garage sales. Because I'm the only jerk off that goes out in this. <laughs> yep. Hope that goal game arrives soon. Might be the only thing besides that PlayStation we picked up this episode. If this continues. Look, it's already accumulating on the building over there. Wow. Oh, pardon me. At the mall parking lot on my lunch break, ran home, grabbed that 3DS that had the crack, but it was operational with the new Super Mario Bros. 2 and new Super Mario 3D Land. Just sold it to 50 to this guy in this uh, white 4x4 truck. 50 bucks. I had it listed for 60 He offered 40 a couple of nights ago, and I said I couldn't do that. I said his son gets his allowance today. So I sent him a message because nobody else was messaging me about it. They were looking at that crack and saying, ugh. I said, hey, if, you, if you're still interested, I'll do 50 And he said, sure. So here I am. So I think that puts $110, give or take. I don't have my wallet on me because, I, like I said, I'm on my way back to work. About $110 for a garage sale Saturday tomorrow. As long as it doesn't snow again. What the hell? Go away. Go away, clouds. Yelling at the clouds, old man yelling at the clouds, go away! I am out here garage sailing. That snow, it's not snowing, but it's cold. It's been rainy, it's wet. I got a late start this morning. I'm meeting other people in town for some sales and some other stuff. So I stop at a garage sale, my first one, at about 8.30. Way late for me. I ask about video games. You see the freaking gears start turning on the dude. <laughs> he brings out a little tub. He said it's his brother's Super Nintendo. It didn't have any, you know, it has a couple games, but nothing special. I'm just like, I'll be honest, I've got all these. If you leave it out, it'll sell. He's like, well, since you don't want it, we still play it. So he puts it up. He's like, now hold on a minute. And he gets another box out. And the box is labeled uh, Retron. And he opens the box, it's got some NES and some Super Nintendo games, it's got Mario 3, Kirby's Adventure, a um, couple others, and I see one game in particular that I have to have, absolutely have to have, but he says it's his brother's, he's got to think about it, so I put three games in my hand, and I'm like, oh, give me a price, what, what do you want for these three, give me a price, he's like, oh, I, mean, I don't know, maybe I should just take your number. So I said, I will give you $40 for these three games. And he's, the deal. Deal. I'm like, so we got Ice Climber. I don't think I have this. I may have this, but, you know, I wanted to be sure, so I picked it up. A little something for resale, because I know I have it already. Uh, Secret of Mana. <laughs> There's my $40 back right there. And, uh, finally... Oh, you talk about adding some heavy hitters into the collection over the past couple weeks. Finally. There's Chrono Trigger. Yes! <laughs> oh, I don't believe it's in it's got a little sticker on here. I don't think I'm gonna worry about getting that off, because that's gonna peel the back label, but uh Chrono Trigger. Awesome. 40 bucks spent deal deal that's so awesome 
Chrono Trigger is going in the collection in the $5 game box. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, the quantity of purchases at the garage sales was small, but man, when you hit one sale and just hit it out of the park, can't complain. There was other stuff out there. I just missed a Mario Party 4. They had a stack of games on a table. I said Wii games dollar each, and this dude's walking around with a Mario Party 4 for GameCube. If I had been like three minutes faster, I would have got it. But, I mean, what are you going to do? I'm not going to complain at all. Adding Chrono Trigger. Got a secret of mana to list eventually. And an Ice Climber. I need to double check and make sure I own that. Anyway, I wanted to turn on the camera because um, I am currently listing a bunch of my N64 games. I'm selling them. I've sold a lot of them already. Here's some I'm still selling. You know, lo just this weekend. Whatever doesn't sell this weekend, I'm putting back in into the collection. Uh, first of all, I've already mentioned a few times on uh, this series and on my channel, the N64 to me is a uh, WCW Revenge and WWF No Mercy machine. I have almost zero nostalgia for the N64. And I'm going to Las Vegas next weekend. <laughs> it's 40 degrees and raining outside, and in a week from now, I'll probably be burning my ass off. I certainly won't be wearing a jacket inside the house. So, just to put some cash in my wallet, I'm selling a, some of my N64 games. Usually the heavy hitters, even the ones I still find at garage sales. The Mario Karts, the Smashes, the Zeldas, whatnot. So anyway... I sold a Donkey Kong to Donkey Kong 64 to a guy uh, just a minute ago, actually. I just got home, and um, he's really kind of bummed and pissed that I sold Pokemon Stadium to somebody else. And he's like, oh, man, I would have given you more. I would have given you more. Oh, I don't really want Donkey Kong. And I, I wanted to sell Donkey Kong. You know, I wanted to get the 20 bucks I was asking for it. So I was like, dude, I've got a Pokemon Snap. Pokemon Snap was part of the game box. I was like, I'll sell the Pokemon Snap for 10 if you want that. So there's a 10 bucks because I sold Pokemon Snap to him. We'll add that in our game funding wallet right there. And uh, it won't. I won't put that towards Vegas. I'll put it towards $5 game box game hunting. So I wasn't going to sell game box stuff to try to raise money. But just to get him to, you know, get out and meet me, I offered him a Pokemon game. Got ten dollars for it. Cool. Hey, Game Box fans. This is my storage unit. I call it Storage Day Juice Daddy. As you can see, there's some video game stuff and golf clubs, which I haven't used in a while because my uh, my wrist problems are kind of preventing me from swinging the club. Uh, luggage, games. Anyway, I'm out here because that's the garage sales today. I did make a couple purchases. That's the Dirt Devil I was talking about that I had to pay myself back the dollar out of the $5 game box because I bought it. That's the accessories. And, yeah, I got a Dirt Devil. So anyway, I bought these two Samsung uh, DVD VCR combos. $6 total for each of these. They're dirty, but they seem to be in nice shape. Uh, no remotes. And i just taking a chance on them. This is, you know, one of those things I want to take a chance on try to raise money for the gold games and hopefully get radiant silver gun of the collection i mean three dollars each for these i'm looking at comps on ebay sold comps you know anywhere from 35 on up to you know 70s and 80s so it'll cost a lot to ship it's gonna be a pain in the ass to ship but i think if i put these up for like 35 with like 20 bucks shipping maybe Maybe we'll raise some funds. That'd be a good little uh, fundraiser for the goal games. I also got these. These are not part of the $5 game box. I'm doing a test. I bought these. I spent $4 on these uh, Rock Band. I think they're Rock Band drum pedals. For some reason, you know, these are going from $20 up to like $35. I mean, as you can see, this one, they're both, this these fucking, they look like they came out of a, a, a building collapse, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I'm going to clean them up and try to sell them, maybe sell them as a set, put them up for 
I don't know, 30 bucks with some 10 bucks shipping or whatever it would cost. And once again, see what happens. And if that's a good, if they will sell, then that will be a good test run from finding, you know, Guitar Hero and Rock Band stuff at garage sales, which of course I see all the time. But I'm at the storage unit with this because I'm going to Vegas and it's Sunday, I fly out Thursday morning. I don't want this stuff in Cassidy Juice Daddy while I'm gone. I've got no room in there as is. So I'm going to store this stuff away in here. And when I get back and get some time and get settled in after my little quickie vacation, I'll come out here, clean this stuff up, take these units home to test them, and then uh, get them listed and see what happens. almost forgot the same garage sale I got those uh, DVD-VCR combos. I got this DualShock 2 for $0.50. Cents. Um... I don't know, it's really sticky, it needs to be cleaned off, and of course tested, but uh, if you watch a lot of my videos, you may have remembered I had a moment where I had to sell a PS2 and had no extra DualShock 2s lying around. So picking one up for 50 cents seems like a way to go. Also, uh, I want to take a look at this. I love coming across these type of things at garage sales. This was free. Um, where can I set it here real quick? It's really nice when you find <laughs> garage sales that end of something, like, you know, late Sunday morning, early Sunday afternoon. They want rid of shit. They're like, just take it, take it, take it. It's great finding it with video games, although very rare, because usually video games, if they have them out at the sale are sold pretty quickly even the lowliest of wii or ps2 games and xbox 360 games seem to go pretty fast but uh if you're bringing out video games on sunday afternoon they're not going to give them away anyway i don't know a damn thing about cameras i'm sure a canon side shot she said a ton of people looked at the camera but all the, oh my god is that a cracked lens <laughs> Oh, no wonder nobody bought it for a buck. <laughs> oh, I mean, this, this may just be heading to the trash. Anyway, um, she's like, some people looked at it, but they're just like, oh, that's nostalgic. Oh, there's more cameras. There's another camera in here of some sort. Hold up. First time I'm kind of looking at it. Oh, this little mini digital something or other. Something in this Nikon. Another little crappy. And... Oh, well, there's something in there, too. I mean, who knows? If I get a $5 out of it, that'd be something. But I'm going to stick them in here and not worry about it for right now. Maybe go through it later. But when they're saying, take it, take it, take it, I say, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, look what arrived. Not part of the $5 game box, but man... I was a backer on Kickstarter, however many years ago. So much that my name in the credits might not even be Juice Daddy. Yeah, I did the tier where I got a digital copy on one platform, and I put in for the Wii U, which turned into the Switch. I should have a PS4 digital code at some point. Anyway, that finally arrived. So did that. From Auburn Hills, Michigan. I've sliced it open, but I have not taken anything out. Let's do it together. Game box fans, goal game acquired. That might come off. Wow. Nice label. Hmm, is that good? I better test that out. Property of rent, rent a movie. Maple Crest Road, Fort Wayne, Indiana. Give him a call if you'd like. <laughs> Say this game they used to have on their show. Oh, he did open it up, so he did test the board. Or somebody's tested the board. 
call rent the movie and say, hey, you had a uh, a $220 game to sell on eBay. Look at that. Wow. That's awesome. I'm going to pick at this. Looks like somebody already has. Maybe I shouldn't. wonder what's underneath there. Why is that sticker on there? Not bad, though. I've seen a lot of gun knacks lately on eBay. They sell for around 200 maybe even 190 But there's a lot of label damage. Like, that's torn. Or that's, like, it's peeling up here. Great label. I don't mind rental stickers. But, <laughs> yes. Let's go ahead and uh, head to the big board over on the fridge. Still waiting our funds to be released from that Pokemon DSi, so we're still sitting at zero. We can do... We can do that. That's awesome. That's awesome. Here in the cube, got a little pickup. Spent a little more than I kind of want, but a three or a DS game, yeah, or not a DS game. I should have thought about this before opening. There we go. Game Boy Advance game. Castlevania Circle of the Moon. I offered her ten. It's worth about eighteen to twenty bucks. But she put up a lot of DS, um, a few Game Boy Advance games, a couple DS games. Two Spyro games that are worth like six, seven bucks. Uh, an RPG that, you know, just based on the cover, I think would be worth at least twenty bucks. Was worth like five. I forgot what it was called. And then this, and I was like, oh, I want that Castlevania game. The uh, Game Boy Advance and the DS Castlevania games are kind of like a hidden goal for me. I'd like to pick them all up. I don't have any of them until now. Um, they, I'm not a huge fan of the Castlevania series, but I know that those GBA and DS games are among some of the best in the series. As far as I know, they are not covered in any of those Castlevania collections yet. Hello, Gopher. Oh, where are you going? Where are you going? Where are your buddies going? Oh, hey. Hello. How you doing? <laughs> you guys got any video games? Hidden? Digging down? Yeah. Oh, what's that? You got a little Samson down there? Give you ten. You got you hiding any up there in that tree? Huh? <laughs> all right. You know, I was sitting on all that GameStop credit in the five dollar game box, and uh, just wondering what could I get from there before my Elite Pro membership expires at the end of June. Should I order another Switch game? Should I order some retro game? Should I order Lunar Silver Star Story Complete in order to complete the Lunar Star Story Complete that we have in the $5 game box that we bought for a dollar at a garage sale, but it was missing disc two. There's disc one. Now, here's what I don't get. I don't know much about this game. Why are the disc ones different? Are they different artwork from different versions? Because these are both disc ones. So, I'm assuming that this disc two does not go. And I'm assuming it's the same damn game. So, I don't care. I'm going to just put this in. The $5 game box. Copy of Lunar Silver Star Story Complete. There. Complete. GameStop did send a music CD and the demo. Silver Star Story Demo. Did I get that? I got the music soundtrack and the making of. Oh. What's this demo? Why would they send a demo for the game with the game? That doesn't make any sense. Whatever. When I return from Vegas, 
next week. I may see what I can get for these loose discs on eBay. But otherwise, as far as I'm concerned, we now have a complete, well, manual less, case and disc only, Lunar Silver Star Story complete. Thanks, GameBox. Thanks, GameStop and GameBox. And me. And all of you. Thank everybody. My mind's on Vegas. I'm out of here. Quick update. This episode of the $5 Game Box Game Goals. Our online funds. Sitting at $40.80 now. That's how much we earned after the shipping and the fees on the Pokemon Black DSi that we sold. I forgot what the selling price was after the fees on Makari. I earned like 48 something. Cost me $8 to ship it because I offered free shipping. So after everything, $40.80 is what we got. Uh, still eyeing, eyeing Radiant Silver Gun. I'm debating putting some other games up on there. Maybe instead of focusing solely on Radiant Silver Gun, but we will see right now. That'd just be a good title to have. But. $40.80. I'm about to head out the door. I'm going to go to the uh, game store, see if he's got anything. I kind of doubt I'll get anything unless he's got something really cool in that uh, I didn't see last time I was there. Then I'll come back here and I think it's time for a pickup recap. See what we got this episode, see what we got in Las Vegas. One more quick update of the $5 Game Box game goals. I made another sale. $11.70 earned. I sold the Xbox Star Wars controller. We bought a few episodes ago uh, for like a dollar. <laughs> I remember at this garage sale, I spent a total of $4.50 on some random stuff hoping to resell. And everything was dirt cheap. So I sold it for, I think it wound up being 13 or whatever it was. Minus Macari's fees. And I charged him nine dollars ninety cents shipping, so eleven seventy earned. That gives us fifty. So that's two. Fifty-two dollars and fifty cents. We are well on our way to another goal game. Hopefully, ready at Silver Gun. We're out on another garage sale Saturday. I don't have a lot of money in my pocket. I think I had $24. I had just spent $5 at that garage sale back there. But oh, what a $5 I spent. Holy cow. Let me pull over here real quick. And I beat this motherfucker up here. I see him, that reseller. He's right there. I see him with that trailer. <laughs> anyway, I got five PS1 games. I have Jersey Devil. Needs a new case, but it is complete. That's a great find. We have ourselves a loose disc copy of Medieval. I've got this, but I don't have it complete with the back. Evil Dead Hail the King. Means I can sell the one I've got. Got a loose disc Spyro Year of the Dragon. And very exciting, complete Tomba. I had this loose disc, which I bought at a garage sale, like right over here. I think in that house right there, like a year or two ago. Now I've got it complete. I could sell that loose disc, which goes for about 50 bucks. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, five dollars. Buck each. Really, really good. And he went in and kept finding, finding. They're like, yeah, these belong to our son. And he passed away. Like, oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. They said they had more, but they couldn't find them. Uh, I'll get out of there while the getting's good. And keep moving on until my $19 is spent. Alright, they're looking at me, so I'm not going to point the camera to the garage sale. It's over there. <laughs> spent $3 of my remaining $19, so $1.50 each on two Xbox One games. Let me make this turn to get out of the person's way who's behind me. I think they're both for resale because I don't even have my Xbox One hooked up right now. Uh, Overwatch Origins Edition, the second time I found that at a garage sale. I think I traded the last one in the GameStop and uh, Injustice 2. 
which I'm not sure if I have on either PS4 or Xbox One. So we may be keeping that. But the Origins is definitely for sale. Of course, I'm down to the basic GameStop membership right now. My Elite Pro ran out. I did not renew to Pro. So I don't know what they're giving for it these days. I'll have to double check. But we're down to $16. But we got stuff to sell. We just have to sell it. And it will sell if my lazy ass would just list it. But in the meantime, it's not even 9 o'clock, and uh, I still have money in my pocket, so I'm still alive. Let's see what we find. There's a garage sale back here. And funny enough, a reseller who I have never seen before just popped up right when I'm trying to make a deal on this. He's eyeballing, but I got it, and I'm broke. I spent every dime. In the $5 game box funding wallet. This couple, they are moving into their van. They're like, our kid just graduated high school. She's moving in the dorms, going to college. We don't need a three bedroom house. We're getting our van and having an adventure. Hey, you do you. Let me get in some shade here. 20 bucks and there's some heartbreak in here well let's go through it here uh smash brothers brawl monster hunter try spyro a new beginning uh that's not complete dark cloud disc only in there a lot of these are disc only romancing saga Mario Kart Wii is complete. Sands of Time for GameCube. River King, A Wonderful Journey. Radiata Stories. Second time this summer on the Silent Hill HD Collection, this time for Xbox 360. Mario Strikers Charged. And Grandia 3. And unfortunately, cases and manuals, no disc, new Super Mario Brothers Wii, Rune Factory Frontier, Mega Man Zero Collection, and the biggest heartbreak, even though I could probably sell the case for $15, $20, Pokemon Heart Gold. Ah, oh well, that's a good little find for the remainder of our bucks, and that's probably the remainder of our garage sale. This is going to probably be a long two-part episode because I mean this is going to encompass Vegas and getting gun neck, so we have a whole lot of stuff. Let's just go ahead and get back to the game room, to the Casa de Juice Daddy, and see what we found. <laughs>